Oh, how many are proud to be in God's house tonight? Yeah. Yeah. Woo! I've been, the thing is, I've been preaching, but I've been singing too. <laughs> and worshiping. And prophesying. And prophesying. We just thank God for what God has done these last Amen. seven Amen. services. I'm looking for, for what tonight, what God's going to do. But uh, before I do that, I'm going to prophesy. I'm going to prophesy right now. I'm going to, this couple, you came. <coughs> Sir, you and your, your wife, would you mind standing up, please? If you could come forward, I'd, I'd greatly appreciate that. Praise God. What's your name, sir? Michael, what's your name? Sherry. Sherry. John, that's my beautiful wife, Meliana, there. Uh, Meliana, come and put your hand on Sherry's heart. Michael and Sherry, as I was uh, worshiping the Lord, the Lord wanted me to tell you this. Your mission, your assignment is very dear to God. Sometimes you wonder, is anybody hearing you? And God says, I'm listening. And I've sent you to a place that most people are not willing to go. Because of the spiritual atmosphere in that particular area. But God says to you, I'm going to use you to change the very spiritual atmosphere in your neighborhood. And what's going to happen is there's going to be a generation of 18 to 25 year olds that are going to get a hold of your vision. And because they're going to get a hold of your vision, they're also going to get a hold of your heart. And they're going to be your greatest cheerleaders, your greatest encouragers, your greatest, your greatest asset. Do you guys have children? One. Is he here? Are they here? 18. He's at home. The Lord's going to arrest him. The Lord's going to get a hold of him. God is going to put a prophetic anointing on his life. And there's a, there, he's, he's going to be very articulate. Very vocal and very, and, and very uh, uh, good with words, the Lord says. Because his, like the prophet Isaiah, which was, was very articulate in his prophecies. God's going to use him in that way. And God's going to put him before key leadership in that city. And what God's going to do is he's in his own unique way, in his own personality. God is going to use him to be a prophetic voice to people that nobody would ever have think that they could get an audience. I'm telling you this by the Spirit. God is saying, too, that, that you've had people that have, have left. But God says to you that he's putting quality people to replace them. Amen. Stretch forth your hands right now. You need to know this, my brother. The Lord saw in a moment when people would offer you money. But because you didn't take the money and you served the call of God and walked in integrity, I'm telling you, the Lord is going to give you a hundredfold return in what they tried to bribe and manipulate you with. And God is saying, because you said, no, I can't play this game. I can't go this route. I am going to go the route of righteousness. I'm elevating you in my presence. I'm elevating you in my power. I'm putting my anointing afresh on both of you. You, daughter, have at times had to kind of, I, I saw, I see two files. You have the ministry file and the work file. And, I, and, and you've kind of had to juggle, juggle both files. You've had to, and, and there's some things that have been half done. But the Lord is saying to you that in this season, I'm going to multiply time for you. 
that the time it used to take to do things a lot, he's going to multiply that time so the things that are unfinished get completed so that you can throw that file out so you don't have to keep looking at it day after day after day, says the Lord. Lift your hands right now. Father, I thank you for this precious couple. I thank you for your spirit. I thank you for what you're doing. I thank you, oh God. Marty, do you have a word for them? Thank, thank you, God, for what you've done. And I ask your anointing on them right now in the name of Jesus. There it is. There it is. There it is. God's touching you right now. God's touching you right now. God's touching you right now. Hallelujah. 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 Give the Lord a praise in the house. Man, could you stand up, please? Come here, please. Just put both hands, your, both hands on your heart. I need to... Come and put your hand right on your heart. The Lord says, I'm healing your marriage. I'm literally coming in and showing myself strong. I'm not going to allow what you feared to come upon you, says the Lord. For this day, I say to you, you need to understand to look not just at the moment. You need to look at the future. And the Lord says that I am going to give you the eyes that don't see the troubles of the moment, but see the blessing of the future because I am going to make you resilient. I'm going to make you tough. I'm going to make you say, I, I'm battling my head. It's going to be like Flint. I'm not giving in to, to the words and I'm not the back and forth. I'm not playing that game. I'm going to destroy the spirit of manipulation. You watch. You watch God. God is putting God is putting a staff in your hand. And that staff is going to go around your house and start decreeing and declaring God's promises over your husband. God's promises over your life. God's promises over your household. Because it was like in a place where the enemy tried to just put, put the wool over your eyes and lock you in a corner. But tonight God called you all out. And he's pulling that wool off your eyes, daughter. And he's saying right now, daughter, I've anointed you, daughter. You carry an anointing on your life. And I want to release that anointing on you, says the Lord, even right now. Father, from the top of her head to the soles of her feet, I pray right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord says this. Depression is an illegal entry into a child of God. So when the enemy tries to come with that, you just say, no, that doesn't belong to me. I'm washing you with the word right now, says the Lord. Father, from the top of her head to the soles of her feet, touch her right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. There it is. There it is. God's touching you. God's touching you right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just begin to worship. Just begin to worship all over this room. Just begin to worship God all over this room. All over this room right now. Hallelujah. 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 God, we love you. We love you. We love you. We love you. There, there's someone here that you have a problem underneath your left foot. I don't know if it's your heel or some kind of bone spur. The Lord wants to heal you. Where are you? Let me see your hand. Praise Jesus. Come stand here, man. If I get one of the ushers to stand behind you. Sister Connie, just put your hand right on her heart. On the left. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How many know Jesus can heal that? How many know that Jesus can heal that bone and cause that bone to go completely back the way it's supposed to be? 
Father, in the name of Jesus, I speak to that bone. And I command it in the name of Jesus to be made whole right now. Every pain, every nerve in her bottom of her foot, in her toes, I command it to be made whole in Jesus' mighty name. I loose the anointing of healing upon her life from the top of her head down to the soles of her feet. As I snap my fingers three times, I command that bone to snap in place right now in the name of Jesus. One, two, three. There it is. There it is. There it is. God's touching you right now. God's touching you right now. God's touching you right now. Sir, could you come up here, please? Hold your hands out like this. A few years ago, you had you had employment. Things were starting to pick up. But something hits you unexpectedly. And you never saw, thought it would hit you like this where now it seems like reduction is happening. You didn't ask for it. You didn't ask for the storm. It just came in. It stirred up a big mess in your living room. But God wanted me to tell you, son, the fact that you are here tonight is saying this. All the clutter, all the mess, everything in the storm came in because it, when it knocked on your door, it didn't ask permission to come in. It just came in and had a field day. But the Lord would say this to you. I am restoring the years that have been lost these last 24 months that has been taken and stolen from you because what has been stolen from you is part of your inheritance and the Lord says I am giving you your inheritance back son and because I am giving you your inheritance back that which has been eaten that which has been devoured that which has been hurt God is bringing restoration in your life there's been some physical issues that have kept you from moving in the ability that you could have. And the Lord says, I don't want you to make an agreement with how you feel. I want you to make an agreement about what I said. Because if you do that, I'll give you back everything, says the Lord. Father, from the top of his head to the soles of his feet. I pray right now that you would touch him right now in Jesus' name. There it is. There it is. God's touching you right now. God's touching you right now. There's someone here with diabetes. God wants to heal you right now. Right now. Where are you? Stand up. Stand up. If you got diabetes, come up here right now. Right now. Real quickly. In the name of Jesus, there is power Diabetes. Put your hand. Put your hand right under. There is power. Is that where your pancreas is? That area? Yeah. Yes. Right, right there. Yeah. It's right here. Stress forth your hands. How many know in this church, diabetes can't exist? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, as these have come up to respond to this, I command every blood sugar level in their body to return to absolutely normal right now. I command, I command, if there's anyone using insulin, I command right now that there would be a sign, wonder, and miracle. That you would recreate things. You would do a creative miracle tonight in the name of Jesus. I, I say, you spirit of diabetes, you don't belong in the bodies of God's people. 
You're a foul devil that tries to, to break down the quality of your son's and your daughter's life. And I put you on notice. You can't exist in Jesus' name. And as I lay my hands on my brothers and sisters, I believe that the healing anointing flows from heaven through me so that they would walk in wholeness and in power in the name of Jesus. There it is. I'll just worship. that's hemorrhaging that's bleeding stop the bleeding right now she said right now Father take the cause whatever's happening inside cure it right now I command the left eye I command the left eye to open right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth There it is. 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 Take your hands off. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? Put it, put, put it back on. Put. Church, we need faith. Church, if there's any doubt and unbelief, I leave from this room right now. You don't belong in this room. This woman needs a miracle right now. She needs a miracle right now. And I pray right now in the name of Jesus. And I command her eyes to be made whole tonight. There it is. There it is. God's touching you right now. Take your hands off. I want everybody to pray in tongues right now. Pray in the Holy Ghost 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 right now. You foul spirit of blindness, you don't belong in this woman's life. I curse you right now. I curse you. I command the creative miracle in the name of Jesus right now. There it is. 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 Shokura. Hallelujah. 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 You believe it? Lift your hands right now. 
It's in your name, God. It's not in our prayer. And whether we see the manifestation or not, we don't look at what we don't see or focus what you didn't do. We focus on what you did do. And we thank you for what you're doing right now. There's someone here that has a cyst and a part of your body. Jesus wants to heal you right now. Where, you, where are you? Where are you? You have a cyst in your body. You have a cyst on your body. Where are you? Let me see your hand. Come here. Lift your hands right now. It's disappearing right now. It's dissolving right now. There it is. There it is, ma'am. There it is, ma'am. Ma'am, open your eyes. God says He's restoring your bones. He's restoring your strength right now in the name of Jesus. What's your mom? Come here. Lift your hands right. You're at a crossroads. A place of decision. And the Lord says, daughter, I want you to go the way of wisdom. I don't want you to go with what you think you know. I want you to go with what the word has spoken to you. Because there are those that have been in spiritual authority and they're not there to control you. They're there to guide you. And the Lord says, if you will listen to their guidance, I will fill your life full of my goodness, says the Lord. Father, from the top of her head to the soles of her feet, touch her right now in the name of Jesus. There it is. There it is. God's touching you. God's touching you right now. God's touching you right now.